Hey all, welcome to yet another video from Simply Learn. Imagine a large hospital where doctors and nurses need to access patient records every day. They look up medical histories, test results and treatment plans to make sure they give the best care. One day, the hospital's old database system crashes and suddenly nobody can get the information they need. Doctors can't see patient records during emergencies and everything comes to a standstill. What can the hospital do to make sure this never happens again? This is where AWS databases come to the rescue. By using AWS powerful and reliable database services, the hospital can make sure the patient data is always available, safely stored and easy to access. AWS offers a range of database solutions that keep the data secure and backed up, so doctors and nurses can always get the information they need, even in emergencies. So, in today's video, we'll explore about the storage services of AWS and the different types of databases available in AWS. We'll explain how each service works, their key features, and the best ways to use them. Whether you are a developer, a database administrator, or just curious about cloud technology, this video has something for you. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before that, if you're interested in getting certified in cloud, check out Simply Learn's Cloud Architect Certification Program. Build expertise in AWS, Microsoft Azure, and GCP with our Cloud Architect Certification course. Plus, we have included an exam voucher for any one Azure course so you can get certified hassle-free. Gain access to official AWS authorized self-learning content and master the ins and outs of cloud architecture principles. Learn how to design and deploy scalable services on various cloud platforms and all-in-one comprehensive course. Let's build your cloud expertise together. So let's get started. So what is AWS? Amazon Web Services or AWS is a comprehensive cloud computing platform provided by Amazon, offering a wide array of on-demand services such as compute power, storage, and databases, along with advanced functionalities like machine learning, analytics, and IoT. It helps businesses to scale their applications efficiently. It reduces the IT cost as it has pay-as-you-go model. Its global network of data centers ensures high availability and security. Now, what is a database and why is it important? So databases are systems that store, organize and manage lots of data efficiently. They have tables to hold the data, queries to find specific information and indexes to speed up searches. Databases also ensure that all operations are completed correctly and keep data secure. Now there are different types of databases. Relational databases use structured tables and SQL for queries, while NoSQL databases handle unstructured data and are easier to scale. Now, using databases in cloud has many benefits. Cloud databases can easily grow or shrink based on your needs. So you can handle busy times without paying for extra resources you don't need. They are also reliable because cloud providers manage backups and replicate data in different locations, which minimizes downtime and data loss. Additionally, cloud databases reduce costs because you don't have to buy and maintain your own hardware and software. They allow global access, so teams and applications around the world can quickly get the data they need. Now let's discuss the various storage services provided by AWS and identify which AWS databases use each type of storage. So AWS offers a variety of storage services tailored for different use cases. First, we have Amazon S3 or simple storage service, which is an object storage service that is highly scalable, durable, and secure. Ideal for backups, big data analytics, and content storage. It's used by databases like Amazon RDS, Amazon DynamoDB, and Amazon Redshift for backups and data storage. Next, we have Amazon EBS or Elastic Block Store, which provides block storage for EC2 instances, offering different volume types for balancing cost and performance. Now, Amazon EBS is used by Amazon RDS and Amazon Aurora for database storage. Now, next we have Amazon EFS, which is Elastic File System. Now, it offers scalable file storage that can be concurrently accessed by multiple EC2 instances, suitable for applications needing shared access, like web serving and content management. Next on the list is Amazon FSx, 
which provides fully managed file systems optimized for specific workloads, such as FSX for Windows File Server and FSX for Lustre, the latter being ideal for high-performance tasks like machine learning and big data processing. Now, for archival storage, Amazon S3 Glacier offers low-cost storage for infrequently accessed data, perfect for compliance and archival needs. Now, finally, we have the AWS Snow family, including Snowcone, Snowball, and Snowmobile, which facilitates secure and efficient data transfer into and out of AWS, supporting the initial data loading for various databases. So having known the services offered by AWS, now let's move on to the different databases in AWS and discuss each of them with their use cases. So first we have Amazon DynamoDB. Now, Amazon DynamoDB is a fully managed NoSQL database service offered by AWS. It is designed to handle large amounts of data with high speed and low latency, making it perfect for applications that need to store and retrieve data quickly. Some of its features are scalability. DynamoDB can automatically scale up or down based on the application's demand, ensuring consistent performance. It provides single-digit millisecond response times, which is ideal for real-time applications. AWS handles all the maintenance tasks like backups, patches, and hardware provisioning, so you don't have to worry about them. So let's see a use case. Imagine you are running a mobile game with thousands of players online simultaneously. Each player's game progress, scores, and in-game purchases need to be stored and retrieved quickly to ensure a smooth gaming experience. Now, DynamoDB can efficiently handle this type of workload by providing quick access to player data even when there are sudden spikes in game activity. This ensures players have a seamless and enjoyable experience without delays or lag. Now, next we have Amazon Aurora. Amazon Aurora is a high-performance, fully managed relational database service offered by AWS. It's designed to be compatible with MySQL and PostgreSQL, which are popular database systems, but it's much faster and more reliable. Aurora automatically takes care of tasks like backups, software patching, and scaling, so you don't have to worry about them. Let's see its use case. Imagine you have an online store that handles thousands of transactions every day. You need a database that can quickly process orders, manage inventory, and store customer information without any slowdowns. Amazon Aurora is perfect for this because it can handle lots of read and write operations very efficiently, ensuring a smooth shopping experience for your customers. Plus, Aurora can automatically scale up to meet high demand during sales or holidays and scale down when traffic is lower, helping you save costs. Its high availability and automatic backup features mean your data is always safe and accessible, even in case of hardware failures. This makes Aurora an excellent choice for running a reliable and responsive e-commerce website. Next on the list, we have Amazon RDS. Now, Amazon RDS, or Amazon Relational Database Service, is a cloud-based service that makes it easy to set up, operate, and scale a relational database. This means you can store and manage your data in a structured way using popular database engines like MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, SQL Server, and MariaDB without worrying about the underlying infrastructure. Now, imagine you run an online store. You need a database to keep track of your products, customers, orders, and inventory. Using Amazon RDS, you can quickly create a database that handles all these tasks. RDS automatically takes care of backups, software updates, and scaling, so you don't have to worry about your database crashing during a big sale or needing more space as your business grows. Now, next, we have Amazon TimeStream. Now, Amazon TimeStream is a cloud-based time series database service offered by AWS, designed to efficiently store and analyze timestamp data. Now, timestamp data is information collected at regular intervals, like temperature readings every minute or stock prices every second. So the key features include performance. It handles trillions of events per day with fast query capabilities. Now, it automatically scales up or down based on the volume of data. Now, you only pay for storage and queries you use with automated data lifecycle management to reduce costs. Now, imagine you have a network of thousands of IoT sensors deployed across a city to monitor air quality. Each sensor collects data like temperature, humidity, and pollution levels every few seconds. Now, Amazon TimeStream can efficiently store this vast amount of timestamp data and provide quick access for real-time monitoring and historical analysis. This helps in analyzing trends, predict pollution levels, and make data-driven decisions to improve air quality. Next on the list, we have Amazon Neptune. Now, Amazon Neptune is a fully managed graph database service provided by AWS. It's designed to work with highly connected data, 
making it ideal for applications where relationships between data points are as important as the data itself. Its key features include graph models. It supports popular graph models like Property Graph and RDF, which is Resource Description Framework, optimized for querying large amounts of interconnected data quickly. It handles database management tasks like backups, patching, and scaling automatically. Now, one common use case for Amazon Neptune is building social networking applications. So in a social network, users are connected to each other in various ways. Friends, followers, likes, comments, and groups. Now, Neptune can efficiently manage these connections and quickly answer complex queries like who are the mutual friends of two users or what groups are my friends part of. So by using Neptune, social media platforms can provide a fast, responsive user experience even as the number of users and connections grow. So next, we have Amazon QLDB. Now, it stands for Amazon Quantum Ledger Database, which is a fully managed ledger database provided by AWS. It is designed to maintain a complete and unchangeable history of all changes made to your data over time. Uh, think of it like a highly secure and transparent digital logbook where every entry is recorded and can't be altered. So the key features are immutable ledger. Once data is entered, it cannot be changed or deleted. It ensures the integrity of your data by allowing you to verify that it hasn't been tampered with. Now, AWS handles all the maintenance, including scalability, backups, and availability. So one common use case for QLDB is in tracking financial transactions. So imagine a bank needs to maintain an accurate and tamper-proof record of all the transactions to ensure transparency and compliance with regulations. So QLDB can provide a trustworthy and unchangeable log of every transaction making it easy to audit and verify the history of financial activities. Now, the last on the list is Amazon RDS on VMware. So it is a service that allows you to run Amazon's managed relational database service or RDS in your own data centers using VMware. Now, VMware is a virtualization and cloud computing software provider. So this means you can enjoy the benefits of RDS like automated backups, patching and scaling without moving your data to the AWS cloud. So it's perfect for businesses that want to keep their data on-premises due to regulatory requirements, low latency needs, or existing investments in VMware infrastructure. Uh, for example, imagine a hospital that needs to store and manage large amounts of sensitive patient data. So due to strict privacy regulations, this data must remain on-site itself. With Amazon RDS or VMware, the hospital can set up and manage databases easily within their own data centers. They get the reliability and automation of AWS RDS while keeping patient information secure and compliant with local laws. So this setup ensures the hospital's data is always backed up, secure and accessible without the complexity of managing database servers manually. So that was it about the AWS databases. So we hope you got a clear understanding of each databases and the different use cases for each of them. If you liked the video, please do appreciate with a thumbs up and stay tuned for more such informative videos from Simpliller. Thank you.